Before going to the chemistry practical examination, you should be familiar with the type of questions that you will be tested on. Students should have some experience by now based on those chemistry practical sessions you went through with your school teachers or teachers in AD. And one of them will be titration, whereby it is an experiment where a known property of one solution is used to infer an unknown property of another solution. I'm sure many of the students have done this multiple times and very familiar with the procedure. So you should still read the questions carefully and remember to rinse the burette and pipette with the solution that they should contain. So a simple drawing of burette and conical flask will help you to not make any careless mistakes. So for example, the burette contains the acid and the conical flask contains the alkaline. Many of the students like to do a rough reading, but it is highly encouraged for all of you to conduct two titrations accurately in 10 to 15 minutes so that you can spend the rest of the time doing the questions. Students should also be aware of the marks allocated for the titration table. It's worth a total of five marks. One mark will be given for the correct headings and unit Make sure you use final burette reading and initial burette reading instead of volume. And remember these five headings. Now, the next mark will be given for the accuracy of burette. Make sure all the initial and final burette reading to be round off to the nearest 0 0.05 cm cube. And the third mark will be given if the two best titration result, they are within 0 0.20 cm cube apart. So you will get at least three marks. Now, the last two marks will be based on the accuracy of your values compared to the supervisor's value. Most of the time, after the titration table, we'll move on to the calculation. And one compulsory question will be to calculate the average volume. So to calculate the average volume, first, you need to show your working. And we only take the average volume from the best titration result. So if you have a total of four results, you only take the average value of the two best titration results that you choose. So in this case, it will be 26.8 plus 26.8 divided by 2. So even if they are the same value, you still have to show the working. Mm -hmm.